This is the Hey Ed YouTube channel, and I am your host, moderator, and all-around nice guy, Edward Anderson. Okay, so I'm not a financial advisor. Don't construe anything that I mention in any of my videos as financial advice. Always do your own research before doing anything with your money. All right, so today, where did all the gold go? <laughs> uh, so it's very important for you to understand what the central banks are doing right now with gold because it provides a very big clue about what's going on in the world markets and the world economies and more importantly, the world currencies. All right, so let's get some, some facts out of the way. The central banks throughout the world now own 35,000 metric tons of gold. To put that in perspective, okay, that is about one-fifth of all the gold that has ever, ever been mined. And just in June this year alone, these banks have added another 60 metric tons to their totals. These are stats that come to us from the World Gold Council. So uh, I take them as pretty solid numbers. So why are they doing this? Why are they hoarding all of the gold? First of all, let's talk about how they're doing it. Now, in our case, the Federal Reserve, what they do is they print out of thin air, this worthless money, and then they go out and they buy gold with it. I mean, can you imagine if you and I did that? If we just printed something out on our printer and then took that to a gold dealer and used that to buy gold, we, we would be put in jail. Um, well, first we'd be laughed at, but then we'd be put in jail. But not the Federal Reserve, not the other central banks. They can print their worthless currency and go out and buy actual physical gold. So what's the big deal with gold? Why do they want to own all this gold? Gold has an inverse relationship with currencies. So in times when when countries start to lose faith in their own currencies, they go out and they, they gobble up gold. Okay, I'm giving you the Reader's Digest version of, uh, of all this, okay? But that's what's going on. So you could be forgiven for thinking that the Federal Reserve and other central banks around the world are losing faith in their own currencies. Now, there is a worldwide currency crisis going on right now. And now, so far, the U.S. dollar has been holding up pretty well, but that's just because it's the best-smelling turd in the punch bowl. All the other fiat currencies around the world are getting crushed under the U.S. dollar. But the U.S. dollar is going to have its day soon as well because of all the money printing going on. Remember, there's value in scarcity, and there's no scarcity of U.S. dollars now. The Federal Reserve has been out of control in their printing of the U.S. dollar for the past couple of years. Just, I mean, they've always been bad. But the past couple of years, it has just exploded. There is going to be a day here where they're going to have to pay the piper. And we're all going to feel the effects. We're already feeling the effects with inflation, right? Now, inflation is, by definition, the lessening of your buying power for your, for your dollars. Your dollars don't buy as much as they used to. And if you think that inflation is bad now, just wait. It's going to get a lot worse. Now, you should be doing some prepping anyway because of the possibility of war breaking out in a very significant way. I don't want to go down that rabbit hole. But you should be doing some prepping anyway. But anything that you buy right now, and buy some pasta or vinegar or whatever, anything you buy right now is a good investment, okay? Because <laughs> if, if inflation is running at close to 20%, and as far as I'm concerned, that's the real rate of inflation in the U.S., not this fake number that the government government puts out. Uh, well, if that's the case, if inflation is putting at 20%, then anything you buy right now is like getting a 20% return on your money, right? So you should be doing some prepping. But the most important thing that you can be doing right now, there are two things you should be doing. You should be establishing streams of passive recurring income to offset the effects of inflation. And also, you should be converting your dollars, your fiat currencies, I don't care what country you're in, into gold and silver, okay? Uh, listen, I don't care where you get it, you know, uh, but you got to start doing it. Don't think of it as buying gold and silver. All you're doing is transferring your money from a really bad asset class to a good asset class. You can always convert these suckers back into your junk fiat currency. Fiat currencies, like in our case, the U.S. dollar is trash. It's garbage. They're not worth anything. They're not backed by anything. They're just they're literally just pieces of paper. You got to start reducing your exposure to your banks, because that's a whole nother uh, video. I've done lots of videos on that. You got to convert your fiat currencies into gold and silver, and you got to start creating streams of passive recurring income. 
for getting your gold. Um, I've got a spectacular program. I'll have a, a link to the program below that you, you should look into. You, I've done videos on it and you can contact me directly. I, I can talk to you about it. It's a great way of starting to accumulate your gold and silver. And then I've got other programs for establishing streams of passive recurring income. But listen, uh, you got to start doing things now because uh, things are already unraveling at a very fast pace. Listen, if the Federal Reserve is buying gold, you know, they're doing it for a reason. They're not doing it just for fun. They're doing it for a reason. And that means the Federal Reserve is starting to lose confidence in our currency. And if they're doing it, you should be doing it. By the way, they've been doing all of this on the sly. They've been doing it quietly. So they don't want you to be buying gold and silver, but they're buying it like crazy. So take their lead. Another thing to kind of keep in perspective is that less than 1% of the world population own any precious metals, gold or silver. So as soon as you buy just one silver coin, <laughs> you're immediately in the 1%, okay? You're a one percenter, and all you have to do is get one little silver coin, and you're part of the 1%. <laughs> uh, so that's kind of cool right there, right? Um, listen, the central banks are hoarding gold and silver at record rates right now, and you should take that as a sign, and you should follow their lead. You should be acquiring gold and silver yourself. Okay, that's it for now. Edward Anderson signing out. Copy that.